What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you a few plants that if you plant in your garden, you're digging its own grave. First and foremost, I want to start out with like one of the least things that are like, one of the like least threatening things, but I don't really want this. I wouldn't recommend you to have this in your garden. That is corn plants. Now here's the problem with corn plants. Now, you know, like they grow really tall and there's an issue. It is really easy to spill those seeds. Especially when you have packets of, I don't know, like 600 each. And when you have that, it's it's so easy to just like spill it everywhere. Like you can just unknowingly just spill like half of your seeds. You don't even notice. And just so you know, corn has like one of the highest survival rates per seed. It's like if I like spilled like all over this area, 600 corn seeds, and this was all dirt, I would probably get, I don't know, like four or 500 corn plants to come up. So it's what, like an 83% survival rate? It's really high. And unfortunately, I have made this mistake before. So whatever you do, if you want to like to grow corn like everywhere, uh, do it in a separate area. Cause most of the time, if you drive by like a garden, like if you're like driving like the countryside of the US, you know what I mean? Like in the Midwest, you see all these farmers, you just drive by all these corn fields. It's because they're not planting them in their gardens. Now I'm also gonna talk about pumpkins because their vines can get as big as 20 feet. And well, sometimes usually you get like two to four pumpkins per plant. Where they sprout is un, is unironically in some of the worst spots. A few years ago when we did pumpkins, we had one sprout over like, I don't know, like, we, we had one sprout on the fucking fence. Jesus Christ, man. Like if you have one on the fence, it's not my issue. It's probably not yours either. It's the plant's own skill issue. So you really need to make sure that you're planting it somewhere else. You can also put this in the same field that you're growing your corn in like I'm doing, or you can just be like most other people and grow them in separate fields. It's not that hard. And you can grow hundreds of them in just one Now we're starting field. to get into some of the more dangerous sides. Now stay tuned to the last one because that one will be the most dangerous one. I'm of course talking about strawberries and blueberries. I wanna include these together because it is easy to grow them together. The only real reason they're actually on this list is because they require a whole separate area of your garden to grow. And well, if you go and like somebody like actually like, I don't know, like they have like a public farm and get like a tour of it, <clears throat> like their garden, like chances are if they like have strawberries and blueberries there, they're gonna be fenced off. <clears throat> you need a door to get in there. They'll probably let you in if it's like a, if it's like a community garden or something. I don't have a community garden in my town because we have our own gardens in our backyards. So the reason that we do that is because we farmers that don't want to have, we don't want to have birds in our garden and we don't want to have birds here. And chances are you don't want to put all of your like time and effort into caging up a 90 by 90 garden. This is not a 90 by 90, it's I don't know, like a 90 by what, like 30, 20, I can't remember, I don't know. But when you have this sort of stuff, like, it's so easy just to, like, have this entire thing just, like, crumble down. You know, you're probably not going to be able to do that within, like, a few summers' time. It would probably take me ages to get that done. <clears throat> and I'd probably only have 151 subscribers by then, so subscribe to this channel. And finally, potatoes. Now, I do have some potatoes in here, but the lighting has dog shit, so I don't know. I'm gonna get uh, my flashlight really quickly. So right here are the potato plants, and they look pretty harmless. But yeah, they don't take up too much space. And if it wasn't for these bugs, you'd probably put them in your garden. But unfortunately, when you have all these bugs, like the potato beetles and other types of beetles that get into your potatoes, yeah, no. They are a major threat. And they will literally tear apart your garden in one night's time. And it is an extreme danger. And extreme in all caps. No cap, just so you know. Extreme. I should even put exceptional right there. These are an exceptional threat to your garden. And well, don't put these in your garden. It's not all that hard. Grow them out here. Grow them near your home and in these. So that way nothing will really get to it. That was it for tonight's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I want to reach monetization soon, so that way I can actually afford to make some pretty high-quality banger content. So, stick around for that.